This is running of the wool winder or the yarn winder. Place the yarn through the tensioner and we are ready to go. One thing I'm going to do is to grab the yarn and see if the tensioner, see if the torque is low enough to stop the yarn from breaking. Okay, so that worked quite well. The, if the yarn snags or something like that, hopefully it won't be damaged if you have your uh, Talk setting as low as you can. Make it sure. Here we go. This is the maximum speed of my wheel. I've uh, got fine wool, you might want to go a lot slower so you can see that everything is winding nicely like this. You might see how well it's winding. Nothing snagging or missing. And well, pretty well, perfectly. So there we can see. And you just pull it off the top here, and you have your perfect ball of wool. This is the assembly of the wool or the yarn winder. These are all the components you should have printed. First of all, verify that all the screws are moving smoothly. They're not jamming in any way, so that's the first thing you do. Some of them you may have to work in. First thing I do is actually start working with the uh, gear two and the large gear. Once you're in the final assembly of this, uh, you're not able to feel how tight it is. So I set this up ahead of time. You turn in the screw and uh, you'll feel it this is doesn't move and you slacken off a little bit and it just uh, goes nicely round once you're comfortable you've got the right level of uh, tightness i mark on the screw here and on the large gear exactly where they are that's for a later stage. So take these apart again. Then the order for assembly is the G clamp screw first. This goes into here. Tighten this down. Don't go crazy. You can break it, but it's firm enough um, ahead of, uh, to work properly without destroying it. Uh, Gear two is the first one in, you slip it in, it goes in there and then you can, it moves forward into the uh, pocket that's built for it. To hold it into place, you take the ring gear and tighten it. This should tighten all the way in. There's a slight movement still, backwards and forwards, but this should move relatively, this should move pretty freely. The next step is gear one on the top here. The gears engage. This is held in by the center gear. You screw this down. As there's gears on the top there, um, you can't use your pliers or anything, otherwise you'll damage the gears. So this is why this uh, center gear tool is provided. This will 
slip on. Honestly. <laughs> and you tighten it down as far as you can and then still make sure that it's uh, moving smoothly. If necessary, back it off a little bit. Um, there we are. These two are moving smoothly, like that. Then you come back to your center gear, you make sure the gears are engaged, and then put in the large gear screw, and you tighten it back up to where your mark is before and there we have the whole assembly you take your drill driver i like to start at the lowest torque setting and just turn it in and the torque gear clicks in and then you just move it until you're comfortable with where you are with the minimum. Two's a little bit won't start it. On this one I'm going to see the four kind of nine. This way I'm going to catch the one to catch the one. And hopefully uh, we won't destroy the yarn. We run with the five, and with the five as many times as we like to get confident that everything works in time. Usually after the first five or ten minutes spurt, you check, make sure these are still aligned properly. Everything is relatively tight here, it's not moving around. There is some play in there obviously, it has to be. But that's it. If, these, if this screw starts coming undone, you'll have to put some glue in there when you're confident that it's there. I've never seen the centric gear come undone, but if that obviously if that starts coming undone again, uh, you would have to use a little bit of glue to hold it down there. Mostly plastic is, uh, uh, you know, they don't come undone because they're not, not that smooth a fit. Anyway, um, yeah. so that's the assembly and the testing.